Hello friends and welcome to Chronically Overdressed. Today I'm going to share with you my nighttime skincare ritual. As some of you know, I am an esthetician. I've been an esthetician now for almost 15 years and I've been a Dr. Hauschka esthetician for almost 13 years. And um, most of the products that I use for both my daytime and my nighttime rituals are Dr. Hauschka. I am a massive devotee and I will explain a little bit of uh, information about the company and why I have chosen to really devote my skin to their products. There are a few products here and there that um, that either they don't carry or that I've just found work better. Uh, but for the most part, I, I would say that uh, I'd say 90% of my skincare ritual is from Dr. Hauschka. If you are joining me for the first time, welcome. I am Christine, also known as the Glambassador. And here I share musings of fashion, glamour, beauty, and travel, all with a vintage flair. So I hope that you will find some inspiration to add a little bit of glamour into your everyday life. So as I said, I'm, I am an esthetician. Uh, although I'm no longer practicing, I'm no, no longer actually doing facials, uh, I still am very passionate about skincare and I love the education side of things. I love educating people on how to create their own skincare ritual that is going to be sustainable for them and easy to do, um, you know, taking whatever steps that they need in order to do a regular ritual for themselves uh, daily and um, nightly to care for their skin. So the reason I use the word ritual instead of a skincare routine or a skincare regimen, which both of those words are absolutely correct, um, I wanted to name it a ritual because it is something special. It's something different um, and it, for me, it is my sacred time, especially in the evening. To, um, to take some time away, to wash off the day, <laughs> to uh, cleanse my skin and just get me ready for bed. It's, um, it is, it's a ritual that I've, I've done now for, I don't know, probably almost 20 years um, since I started using Dr. Hauschka pretty regularly. Um, and it's just, it really helps me to kind of get in that mindset of getting ready for bed. It's very calming, it's very soothing for me. And so naming it a ritual for me is, um, is very important and it's uh, it means something to me so it's um it's a kind of a sacred time for for myself so whether you call it a skincare routine or a skincare regimen it's completely up to you um, but i will be using the term ritual when it comes to my my whole process that i that i do so I was introduced to Dr. Hauschka when I was about 17 or 18 years old, and I started to use their products pretty exclusively by the time I was about 20, 21. And um, I'm 45 now, and I have been using their products ever since. And I have completely fallen in love with all of their products, with their entire philosophy. And um, I so much so that I actually became a Dr. Hauschka certified esthetician. I went to Massachusetts to do their training program and um, absolutely just, you know, fell deeper and deeper in love with the products, with the company itself, with their philosophy. And um, it's something that I definitely hold dear and uh, their products have been fantastic for me. And I have seen amazing results for a lot of my clients. When I opened my spa in Baltimore, it was really important for me to be able to, to carry Dr. Hauschka and be able to offer the Dr. Hauschka skincare, uh, skincare rituals, the, the facials, the body treatments. And, um, and we were one of the only, actually at the time, I think we were the only uh, spa that was offering Dr. Hauschka skincare in the Baltimore area. So it was very special to me to, to be able to offer that. And to see the results um, from my clients was absolutely amazing. It's one thing to you know to know that they work really well for you, but to see them also work fantastic for many different skin types, many different skin issues. Um, it was really an honor for me to be able to work 
with my clients and utilizing these products. So I just want to share with you a little bit about my skincare ritual and give a little bit of information on why I use the certain products and how they work and a little bit of information about skincare. If you guys want a little bit more in-depth information about skincare, I'm very happy to share that with you. Uh, feel free to comment down below. Um, if I get enough comments, maybe I'll do another video of just, you know, skincare questions that you guys have. Uh, but this is really just going to be about my ritual, um, my skin concerns, my issues that I have dealt with in the past, and how Dr. Hauschka has, has really helped that. So I will preface this with saying that I have been pretty fortunate with my skin. Um, I'm Irish, I'm Norwegian, and I'm Scottish. So obviously I'm very fair. Um, I do have a lot of pink undertones. I have slightly sensitive skin in the sense that I have a histamine reaction that anytime I touch my skin, I break out into a redness. They're not hives, I don't get itchy, um, and that it usually, you know, calms down after a couple of hours or so. But I do have a lot of redness in my skin. So, and my skin is actually very, very oily. So as I was growing up, when I was a kid, I did have acne. Um, it wasn't anything major. I was never on Accutane or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I had incredibly oily skin. And that was actually one of the, the reasons that I, I I would happen to be at a health food store when I was about 17 or 18 and I ran into a Dr. Hauschka esthetician who was uh, who was working there selling their products and had this concern and started talking to her and she gave me a beautiful little kind of a, a travel set of, of some of the products and she explained to me how the products worked. Um, it was very different from what I had been told in the past. So generally, when you have oily skin, uh, either dermatologists or just media and marketing will tell you to use products that strip that oil from your skin. Generally, um, you'll have, you know, kind of alcohol-based products or anything that kind of makes your skin feel that kind of squeaky clean feeling. And so she explained to me how detrimental that is to your skin, especially if you have oily skin. Um, and how basically when you are stripping the oil off of your skin, that sends a message to your body that you are super dry and dehydrated and you need to produce more oil. And so it creates this cycle of stripping the skin, your body's producing more oil, and it does this constantly. And so that's where this excess oil was. I was stripping my skin, I was breaking down um, my, my skin barriers, and I was just, I was causing the problems, a lot of it. Um, my skin naturally does have a lot of oil to it, but it wasn't anything major. I just, when I was young, I thought I needed to strip it all. I needed to get rid of it. Um, so once I switched over to the Dr. Hauschka products, which some of the products feel very counterintuitive. Um, one of the products for specifically for oily skin is an oil, uh, which, feels really strange to your skin, but it is amazing. It works wonders. And I'll get into that in the daycare um, section. But she gave me this um, really great information and I started using it. And then when I started working, I worked for Sephora for six years. And at the time we actually sold Dr. Hauschka. So we had a trainer come in and I was trained by one of the Dr. Hauschka estheticians from there and from their corporate office. And from that point on, that was it. That was it for me. <laughs> I had totally fallen in love. I loved the philosophy. Um, I've always been a little crunchy. So anything that was organic or holistic or anything that had to do with just, you know, beautiful, healthy products, I was all for it. And that's what Dr. Hauschka is. So Dr. Hauschka is first and foremost a, an organic and biodynamic line. Their philosophy is very different from most skincare lines. Um, traditional skincare acts as a corrective skincare, uh, meaning you have an issue, then they have a product that is going to correct that issue. The problem with that is it doesn't support the skin to correct itself 
and generally those products that you're putting on usually have either harsh chemicals or other secondary ingredients that can cause secondary issues while correcting the first issue. So then you tend to need another product to correct that secondary issue and it just kind of creates this cycle. The philosophy of Dr. Hauschka is that the skin looks after itself, it renews itself, it knows what it's supposed to do. We, we're the ones that get in the way. So the products are there to help support its natural function. The Dr. Hauschka philosophy relies on rhythm. Um, now, without getting really into the whole philosophy of how they create their products, because it really is, it's quite amazing, it truly is, um, but it's a lot more than I can really delve into into this video. Um, but rhythm is very essential to this product, um, It's to this philosophy, to its processes. And that's another reason why I like to use the word, word ritual, because it is part of the rhythm. It's the daily rhythm that I go through to, um, to you know, finish out my day. Dr. Rudolf Hauschka was a chemist in Germany and founded the, pharma the holistic pharmaceutical company in 1935. In 1967, he actually paired up with a wonderful esthetician. Her name is Elizabeth Sigmund, and she helped to develop the skincare line. Elizabeth Sigmund is truly an amazing person. Um, she, I will definitely will have to do a video on her at some point. Uh, but she reached out to Dr. Hauschka in the early 60s um, with her research on herbs and skincare, and she was really integral and really the driving force for creating this, this entire skincare line. So let's get into my ritual. Um, so I'm going to take you through the steps of, of pretty much everything I do, and I want to let you know that this entire ritual takes me less than 10 minutes every single evening. Sometimes it takes more because I want to spend a little bit more time uh, giving myself a facial massage or whatever, but on the whole, it takes me, I would say probably, I've, I've timed myself before and it takes me like eight minutes to do the entire process. And yes, I cleanse my skin. I remove my makeup every single night. I have not slept in my makeup since I was in, I don't know, 13, 14 years old. Um, <laughs> I can't sleep in my makeup. It is horrible for your skin. I know that. And I literally cannot, you know, rest my head on my pillow if I have makeup on. So I do this every single night, no matter what, no matter how tired I am, no matter if I'm traveling. This is my ritual and I love it. It's, um, it's something that I look forward to at the end of the day and um, yeah, I never skip it. Okay, so step one is to remove my eye makeup. Now, I wear um, waterproof mascara and my eyeliner is generally, it's a gel eyeliner and that's waterproof as well. So I just use straight castor oil. Pretty much any oil will work. You can use coconut oil, um, jojoba oil is fantastic. Um, jojoba oil, strangely enough, is actually very similar to your skin's natural oil. Um, so it does work as a really good moisturizer if you need that. The reason I use castor oil is because it does help to promote hair growth um, on your lashes and on your brows. So um, I just, Actually, I decant it and I put it in a little, um, a little pump bottle here, and I use a couple of pumps, and it gent. I just gently remove my eye makeup. It takes everything off. It breaks down my waterproof mascara and my waterproof eyeliner beautifully. Uh, I will leave a little bit on after I've done my entire ritual. I'll then go back and put a little bit of castor oil on my eyebrows and a little bit on my lashes just to keep them moisturized and to help with, um, with growth. Step two is to fill up my wash basin with some warm water and I add a little bit of my more lavender calming bath essence. This isn't a step that everybody has to take, um, but this is the part that really makes me happy. Um, so I fill that up, put a couple of drops of the calming bath essence in there, 
because when I remove my makeup, I actually use a cloth. These are essentially um, like little diapers. <laughs> um, these I did uh, buy from my spa. So they, you know, were purchased from a, um, like a wholesale spa, but I've seen them, um, I've seen them sold on Amazon and I will put a link in my, in my shop, your favorites in my, um, Amazon storefront. They're just basically organic cotton diapers and they work amazingly well, but I use this basin of water as my, um, this is what I dunk my um, my compress in, and this is how I, I cleanse my skin. I use this water from there, so I'm not splashing my face with water. And having the more lavender in there is just, it's just a beautiful step. It's It smells amazing, it's super soothing, it's really calming, um, and it's just another one of those just really special added benefits of doing this ritual. So to remove my face makeup, um, I absolutely could use my regular cleanser, but in the last year, I've started to use these um, microfiber sponges, and I cannot tell you how amazing they are. <laughs> um, they, this one is from a company called Super Sponge, and um, it's called Cake Off is, is what it's called, and they're really small. They work perfectly, um, but it has the, the microfiber on one side and they're, they're both microfiber, but this one's kind of, um, it's got a little bit of ridging to it. I really only use this side because it's really smooth. It does not, um, it does, it's not abrasive. It doesn't pull on your skin. Um, but this just dunked in the water a little bit and just literally just wiping away the makeup. It is incredible how well this removes the actual makeup and for this i just clean it with some dr bronner's castile soap every time i use it and then i set it to dry i have about three of these and so i'll clean them off and then every you know a few days or so i'll pop it in the wash and so i always have a, a brand new one every pack of these comes with three so so then on to actually cleansing my skin and that's my soothing cleansing milk this is absolutely amazing on all skin types. It does not matter if you have um, dry skin or sensitive skin or oily skin. It is a milky cleanser, so it does break down the makeup. You can absolutely use this to remove your makeup, but you definitely want to cleanse your skin. You always wanna do two cleansings. You want to make sure that you're removing your makeup and then actually cleanse the skin with your cleanser. So whether you're removing it with something um, like this, um, I do not recommend the um, like the Sonic cleansers. Those are way too harsh on the skin. Um, but if you're whether you're using just a washcloth and a cleanser, definitely cleanse twice. Okay, so once my skin is completely cleansed, then I just spray on my clarifying toner. Um, Dr. Hashka has two toners: clarifying toner and then the regular facial toner. Uh, the clarifying toner actually took really a long time to come out. They had the facial, that was the only toner they had was the facial toner. Um, and they finally started to realize that they needed to do something that was geared a little bit more for clarifying, for acneic skin, for super oily skin. Um, and so they finally, years later, came out with the clarifying toner. And uh, this is this is the one product that I definitely notice a big difference from if like if I've run out of it or there was a period of time, especially when I was working at Sephora and I was, you know, all around all these beautiful skincare products, I was like, oh, maybe I don't need to use Dr. Hauschka anymore. Wrong. Um, <laughs> this is the one product that if I don't have it, I definitely notice my skin is, um, is very different. So I love this product. Okay, so for those of you who are a little confused on what a toner does, toners essentially have two functions first function is to bring the skin back to the ph level that it needs to be in um, our skin likes to live in a slightly acidic state and once you've cleansed your skin you're using cleanser you're using water those are all alkaline products so you're kind of throwing your skin into that alkaline so using a toner is going to bring a little bit of acidity back into your skin to make it really happy let it do its its own function the second function is to help whatever your next step is, whether it's moisturizer, a serum, 
it's helping that to absorb into your skin at the same rate. So essentially, if you just went from cleanser to moisturizer, and let's say you have a dry patch on your cheek, your moisturizer is going to travel to that area to really attack that dry patch. And then it's gonna kind of leave the rest of your skin less moisturized. So your toner allows everything to absorb at the same rate, which is what we want because we want balanced skin. Now, every toner that you get is going to have a third function, whether it's um, you know ingredients in there to help restore moisture, to, um, to help with, with hyperpigmentation. Some toners have some uh, brightening products, uh, brightening properties in there, um, or fortifying, clarifying, whatever. Generally, they have, th the first two are always going to be the same for all toners. The third is whatever that specific product is, is gearing towards. So this one in particular, the clarifying toner, helps to clarify, helps to fortify the skin, um, and it helps to reduce impurities and just kind of regulates the, um, the sebum production. So after I have my clarifying toner, I then put on my night serum. Now this is a fairly new product to Dr. Hauschka, forever they did not have any nighttime products at all. And I will tell you right now, I have never used a night cream. I've never used um, anything nighttime on my skin. For the longest time, I just cleansed and toned and that was it. And that is part of Dr. Hauschka's philosophy. So they realized that at night is really when our skin is the most active that is when it's doing a lot of its regenerating, all of its breathing, it's detoxifying. And when we put on a really heavy occlusive night cream, it stunts that process. So most night creams, as you know, are really thick. They're very heavy. And so when it's an occlusive means it kind of, it holds everything in. So yeah, that's, you think that that's an amazing idea because you want to hold in all of that moisture you want to hold everything in but it doesn't allow for anything to go out it doesn't allow for those impurities to move through it doesn't allow for breathing to happen um, it just kind of holds everything in and so they do not have any nighttime products or night night creams this is the first nighttime product that they've ever come out with and it is specifically designed to still allow your skin to breathe it's very lightweight most serums are not occlusive. They absorb into your skin. They do all of their work underneath the surface. Um, and so that's why this works so well. This is a beautiful night serum. I absolutely love it. It's not for everyone. It's definitely geared towards, you know, people that are a little bit older that maybe have some, um, you know, some dryness of their skin that, you know, we're getting older and and um, so generally for you know anyone that's under the age of 30 doesn't necessarily need this so uh, but I as I am 45 I am using it so that's basically my entire ritual it's uh, remove my eye makeup remove my makeup cleanse my skin tone and put on my night serum and that's it that is my entire process um, that is one of the other things that I absolutely love about Dr. Hauschka is that their, their line is very simple. There's not a lot to choose from. And um, even though they categorize things within, you know, skin type or whatever, um, it's not as nuanced as a lot of skincare lines. You know, it's, it's really, if you are kind of normal to, to, um, to oily, or blemish skin or normal to dry and then mature skin. And they do have a regenerating line that's really geared towards, they say anything, you know, 40 and above, but I really think it's 50 and above. Um, again, depending on your skin concerns. So um, I love how simple it is. And again, it takes me eight minutes or so to do my entire ritual and it is amazing and my skin is incredibly clean and I never feel like I've you know left any product on my skin or anything it just it feels fresh and clean and wonderful and incredibly happy 
and yeah and it's it's the process the entire ritual is has is very minimally changed over the last 20 years of of me using um, all of these products so I hope that helps you to understand my skincare ritual and I will definitely do another video to show you my daytime ritual and um, please let me know if you have any questions at all if you want to learn a little bit more about skincare I'm very happy to to educate on um, on skincare how the process works um, or if you want a little bit more about uh, Dr. Hoshka itself I'm happy to share with that as well if you found this video helpful please make sure that you like and subscribe it really does help my channel to grow and i hope to see you again soon bye